Hi, welcome to Teach Kids. I was just playing with a fish while I'm on the dock, waiting for an interview with a whale. It's pretty wet today, but it's fun. Okay, so the whale should be coming any moment. Oh, you're huge. Wow. Um, hi, thanks for being here. And you're wet too, right? I'm interviewing a whale. Well, it's nice to see you. The Bible says that a big fish swallowed Jonah, but it doesn't tell us what kind of fish. So, are you big enough to swallow Jonah? Hello, of course, I am big enough to swallow Jonah. Okay, so if you're a sperm whale, you weigh as much as the space shuttle. And I heard that you can have a 220 pound ball of rope <laughs> laying in your stomach. Um, you know, that's the size of a kangaroo. So, is that true? Of course. I swallow a lot of things that float in the ocean. Of course. Even if you're a baleen whale, which would mean you'd have a really roomy stomach still, you weigh as much as a train. <coughs> and you're as big as three school buses put together. Wow. Careful with that water. <laughs> okay, so Jonah 117 says, God prepared a big fish to swallow Jonah. Thanks for listening to God. Another question, and I'm sure that your stomach is, well, how should I put this? I don't mean to be offensive, but gross. Um, but God told you to spew out Jonah onto dry land. What is that about? Well... I do swallow a lot of things. I also have been famous for my throw up. How else am I supposed to get rid of all the junk in the sea that I swallow, like rope and other things? Okay, so how long was Jonah inside of you? He was inside of me for three days. After that, I spit him out on dry land. Ugh, I wouldn't want to be inside a belly of a whale or any big fish. And I wouldn't want to get spewed out of your mouth. It pays to obey the first time. Well, thanks for listening to God and taking care water, of Jonah. Another question. The Bible tells us that Jonah prayed inside your belly. What did that feel like? It felt really good to hear him pray. It was kind of like a whale song. I was glad he prayed. I'll never forget that Jonah said, Salvation comes from the Lord. Wow! Jonah was in a storm, in the sea, and in a big fish. I'm glad Jonah finally prayed. Thanks for being with us here today. After talking with you, I know that God is all-powerful, that he can do anything. That is very true. God is great. And he can do anything. He can change hearts. He can save people. And he can protect his own loved ones, like Jonah. Bye! <laughs> well, you have to expect to get wet when you're interviewing a big fish. Bye!